The economy of Rwanda is growing so fast. It is one of the fastest growing economies in the sub-Saharan Africa. Thanks to the visionary leadership of President Paul Kagame, but this growth cannot be sustained without enough electricity. Currently, electricity penetration in Rwanda is at 59%. 44 of this penetration are direct connection to the national grid, whereas 15% are accessing electricity through off-grid system or solutions. It is the mandate of the Rwanda Energy Group to see all this come to reality, including generation, transmission, access, customer care, and spearheading of grid solutions. In this episode, we talk to the group CEO trying to establish Rwanda Energy Group's milestones and perceptions. First of all, uh, REG is following a policy that uh, is decided by the government of Rwanda and we are the one to implement according uh, to the policy uh, on the ground. So uh, in generation, we have at the moment around 235 megawatt, and uh, the target is uh, to cross uh, 500 megawatt by 2024. And uh, we are working to uh, implement uh, different uh, projects all around the country. We are increasing the number of lines, we are increasing the kilometers of a transmission system, and we are improving the connections between all power stations that we will have a better and stable uh, transmission system and better and stable network. Uh, we are increasing the number of kilometers of distribution. Uh, we want to connect each and every village in the country. And uh, regarding the access, our target is to reach 100%. Uh, it means that all the houses, with no exception, in the country will be connected. Uh, at the moment we have uh, 2.8 million houses and uh, the focus is to have 3.8 million houses by 2024. So our plan is uh, to connect all of them, uh, part of them by uh, grid connections and part of them with off-grid Let's talk efficiency. In the recent past, we have seen a series of restructuring at the Parastato, all aimed at getting the Parastato in a better shape. Rwanda Energy Group's efficiency can be measured by two key components. The first one, quality of customer care services. Take the time to listen to what the group officials have to say. First of all, we, we have the normal, let's say, uh, universal standards of customer care. It means we have a call center that uh, is working 24-7 that everyone can uh, call and uh, give his uh, problem and we are uh, immediately uh, run to solve it. We have uh, branches all over the country. We have 33 branches. So we have a, a branch in each district and in the city of Kigali when we have more customers we have even two branches uh, in each uh, district um, and uh, we have uh, a team that is working 24-7 uh, to solve the problems. So this is the formal uh, let's say issues but on top of it we are trying to create a, a family environment that everyone will feel that the customer is like a family member that he needs to, to serve. And I think all the uh, reg management uh, with the subsidiaries UCL and EDCL and with all our teams are really working very hard to serve the customers. Ariwebitindi <laughs> A 
success story is best told by the end user. Let's hear this from the horse's mouth, whether or not the situation has gotten better. Biggest projects that uh, we are building at the moment in the country. This uh, substation is going to be connected to the new uh, power plant in Gisagara called Hakan Pit to Power. Uh, we already uh, gave uh, some uh, power to Hakan to possess with the operational side and uh, all the commissioning. And uh, the full connection uh, will be available when they will be uh, available to provide the power. Another power station that is going to be connected to here is Usumo Hydro Power Plant. So these two big uh, power stations are going to be connected here. And from here, this substation is going to be connected to, Gig to Kigali through Shango substation. So it's a very important substation that is connected to a new uh, two power stations and going to provide Kigali a lot of power. It is also going to be connected to the new airport. So we are very close to the airport, few kilometers from the airport. And this substation is going to provide power to the airport. Not only from here, the airport needs also redundancy, but this will be one of the main connections. Of course, we are going also to supply all the uh, population around. Uh, therefore, this project is very, very important by connecting power stations, by uh, connecting to Kigali and uh, airport and the uh, uh, population around.